This is something entirely new. And when I first discovered it last year, I had to try it out because I was tired of web hosting companies and the promises they make of a faster website and they would fall flat on those promises. And I would try the different hosting services that made these promises. It's always worth a try and they would just fall flat. And so this is something brand new and it totally changed my WordPress experience last year. What I'm talking about is Vulture HF. That stands for high frequency. And what it is, is the most speed optimized platform that you can have your website on. But there's a huge catch. If you go to the Vulture website to try to order a virtual machine using Vulture high frequency, the problem is there's no control panel. So there's no login. There's no graphical user interface. It's all command line, which is a big problem and a big barrier for the vast majority of users. But as of today, that is no longer the case. Now there's access to this high performance platform platform for virtually anyone. And I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. So if you're tired of paying for expensive monthly services that fall flat on their face. Now I know I'm going to get some haters for saying this. If you want to have faster performance than what you get out of WP Engine, let's quickly take a look at the cost of WP Engine. So when I scroll down on their page here, you can see a single website with WP Engine is $30 per month for one website and the amount of traffic you can get on that is limited. They track it and they will charge you more if you go over the traffic limits. What I'm going to show you to do today will cost you less than half of this and you can have multiple websites and you don't have the same traffic limitation. And here is another outstanding web host, Kinsta. And here you're pretty much looking at the same pricing as WP Engine. It's a premium web hosting company. It's going to be $30 for the lowest price plan for one website and limited traffic. Now, before you WP Engine and Kinsta lovers start attacking me, they provide good support. They do. Kinsta, I think, is probably the best support in the industry that I have ever experienced. It's fast. It's friendly. They just kind of get you. So for users that need a little bit of hand holding and don't mind spending three times more for their hosting service, those are fa fantastic options. And in fact, I recommend them on my website. Website, and we're going to take a look at that in a moment. But this video is for people that want to have the absolute best performance, yet save a bundle of money. And that's the type of user that I am. My website, my main website, WP Crafter, which has a lot of stuff going on on the website, I am using Vulture High Frequency because I want an ultra fast website for the people that visit my website. And I want it for when I'm using my website in the WP back end, the admin area. And that's where most web hosting companies fall flat. You can't cache or you shouldn't cache the back end of WordPress, the admin area. And because of that, web hosting companies can't hide their slow service. On the front end, they can aggressively add caching so it feels fast. But the minute you log into the back end of your website, it takes forever to go from screen to screen to comment what you need to accomplish on the back of your WordPress website. And that's the problem that I had. And that's why I switched to Vulture High Frequency. And I've been using it since last December. So we're going on 10 months now. And it has been a beautiful experience. And I'm so glad I switched. And I'm so, so glad that there's an easy way for you to try it out and see if it's something that can change your WordPress experience as well. Now, just in case it comes up, I recommend different hosting providers for different people in different situations. You can visit the hosting page on my website by going to wpcrafter.com slash hosting. And there's also an option in the menu to get to this page. And you can see I break it up into three categories. Now, the difference between these categories is how much you want to spend and how much you want to roll up your sleeves and get involved. So I have it broken down to more techie. It's the most technical, but it's the most affordable non-techie it sits there kind of in the middle 
and very techy, which is what we're gonna go over today, but it's actually not that hard and you're gonna see in this video. When you visit this page, you'll see why you would wanna choose a certain category over the other. You can see right here is my more techy hosting and I'm recommending Green Geeks and Namehost and A2 Hosting. These are fantastic providers, super affordable, and it will provide a great experience, but you're gonna have to roll up your sleeves a little bit. When we scroll down a little bit more to the non techy hosting, Thing. By far, this is going to be SiteGround, and they are pretty unique in this category, and there's nothing else that comes close to the speed you get, the ease of use that you get, the support that you get, and also for a very affordable price. But a lot of people, when they're first starting out, they start out with SiteGround, and then after a year or two, they end up switching to the host I'll be talking about, and that is in the very techie hosting, but it's not very techie. The reason I say very techie is because it doesn't include email hosting and so it adds an extra step to set everything up. And the number one provider that I have listed here is Cloudways. Now you can visit this page and click on the link or if you want to go to Cloudways, visit wpcrafter.com slash Cloudways. There's a coupon WPCrafter that you would enter in if you wanted to try it out and that's going to save you a bit of money. I'll also have that info down below in the video description box. So what happened is after I switched switch to Vulture High Frequency, I talked about it a little bit in the WP Crafter Facebook group and everyone kept saying, when's this coming to Cloudways? When's this coming to Cloudways? And I scheduled a call with all the higher ups at Cloudways. We're talking the CEOs, the CFOs, the lead engineers, everybody. And I was on a call with them and I begged them to add Vulture High Frequency. And we talked about it a little bit and I'm pleased to announce that just a few days ago, they finally added it. Yes, now you can get Vulture High Frequency using the Cloudways control panel and it's so easy to set up. Now everyone can have the same access to this ultra high performance server architecture for such a small amount of money per month. Now if you're not familiar with Cloudways, I have a full review I did two years ago on it and I've had an account with them for maybe five years now. It's been great and I'm glad I discovered them when I did, essentially what they allow you to do is take those services such as DigitalOcean and Vulture and Linode where you don't get a control panel or support and they bring the control panel, all these WordPress specific features and they bring the support for you and they charge you a very small premium on top of what it would normally cost if you just got the server directly. So let's take a quick look at what the cost actually is going to be. Here's their pricing page and it's ultra transparent unlike those other hosts that I mentioned where they are gonna get you for overages. So this, I'm not gonna go over the features right here because I'm gonna show you how to set it up in a moment. So these right here are the different cloud providers that you can use Cloudways with. When you click on Vulture and you scroll down, it says standard or high frequency. These are the plans that we're gonna choose from. They cost a little bit more than the standard plans. So you can see we're looking at 11 and 23, but if I go to high frequency, we're looking at $2 more here and we're looking at $3 more on this plan. I've got to say it's worth every penny. This is a bargain. So underneath it, you could see the difference between the plan. It's always going to boil down to resources, which is completely transparent. So you get two gigabytes of RAM, the processor, the storage, the bandwidth, it's all listed right here. Now, if you're new to this and you wanna just test it out, you could start with the lower plan here for $13 and then you could scale up to the higher plan if you need to. In fact, Cloudways is gonna give you a three day trial so you could test it out, throw your slowest website at it and see how it performs, especially throw the one that has the slowest WordPress admin experience at it and then see how it performs. So here we are in my Cloudways control panel. Now, if you're already Cloudways 
user, it's so easy to add a new server and have it be one of these Vulture high frequency servers and then just push your apps over to it and then change the IP address. It's super easy to do. So once you've created your new Cloudways account, and I'd really appreciate if you used the link in the video description or went to wpcrafter.com slash Cloudways to go there because that's a referral link and it goes to support the channel. When Cloudways knows that you can came there from this video. Keep in mind, this video is not sponsored in any way. I'm just a customer of theirs and I personally have been using their service for four years. So when you're logged in, I'm going to click right here where it says add server. And then the first thing I need to choose right here is the WordPress app that I want automatically installed. I like to choose clean, clean, no cloudways optimizations. And then I just need to fill this out. I need to give the app a name and then I need to name the server. After I've entered that in, I'll click right here where it says Vulture. And then right here, I'll change it from standard to high frequency. And then I can choose the size that I want. So the one that is automatically chosen for me is the $13 per month. Now you can host multiple websites on this. This is not for one website. You're gonna be able to have multiple websites that work lightning quick. So for this video, I'm going to leave it right here at this plan. Next, you want to choose the location of the data center. And there's a good selection here across Asia, EU, Canada and the United States. So I'm going to choose the one in New York. I usually like to choose New York, New Jersey. So I'll choose that right there and I'll click on launch now. So then it's going to take me here and you can see it's going to take a little bit of time for the server to be set up. And now it's all done. Actually, it didn't end up taking 13 minutes. It probably took about four minutes or so. So let's go ahead and click on this brand new server that we created. Now there's a couple options I want to show you really quick. The first one is settings and packages, and this is where you're going to be able to add certain things and take out certain things that apply to the entire server, and this goes for performance. So when I click right here to packages, we want this one right here that says Redis. This is a type of server-side caching that you're going to want. I'll click on install. It just might take a moment to install. Now, there's a couple other settings here, and this is where we're going to manage the PHP version and the MySQL version on the server. So you can see those right here. So for PHP, I have 7.3, but I can click the icon here and I can change this up or down. Usually the newer versions might have less compatibility, but they're going to be faster. And so for MySQL, you're pretty safe here increasing it to a more recent version. So in this case, I'm going to up upgrade it to Maria database 10.3 and I'll click on save. And then right here, I'll click on save again. Next, I want to show you another server side caching feature that comes with Cloudways. I'm going to click right here where it says manage services. And these are all the services running on this server. It's right here where it says varnish. You can choose to disable this or purge the server side caching. It's completely up to you. In the past, this has caused some issues for me. So so I tend to not use it. However, I know that they've made some improvements on how it works recently. Next, we're going to take a look at vertical scaling, and this is where you're going to want to go to have more resources when you're ready for it. So right here, you can see we're on the most affordable package for 13 bucks a month. And you can go right here and then click on scale. Now all your websites, everything's shut down. It's scaled up and then everything starts back up. It takes about five minutes or so. Next, let's go to where all your sites will be. And that's going to be underneath applications. So here's my list of applications. It's showing me applications for both servers. And so I just sorted it by the most recently added application. And here it is. Essentially, an application is just a single WordPress install. It's very easy to add additional applications, which is additional WordPress installations right here. So for now, I'm going to click into this installation. And here are all the 
settings specific to this app, which makes it very easy to monitor. In, in fact, here's a brand new feature that was added maybe a month ago called bot protection. They're one of the only hosts that offer bot protection to protect your website from malicious bots attacking it and stealing traffic and slowing your website down. You can literally just toggle it on right here and click OK. And this is something that would be a premium cost if you're using other web hosting services. You can see it switches to this when it's active and so you can monitor it and take advantage of that extra protection that you get. So when you make a new app, you get given a temporary URL and I love that they offer this so I can build a website on a temporary URL and I don't have to connect it to a domain name just yet while I'm building it. There's so many reasons why this is a great benefit. And if I want to log into the admin panel, all I have to do is click right here. It's going to open up in a new tab where I can log in. Right here, you're going to see the username and the passwords auto-generated. So I'm going to click here to copy it and let's go ahead and log in for the first time. So at this point, what you're going to want to do is migrate your slowest website into here and test it out and see how it is. So I'll link to, I'll add a link to a video down below on a free tool that allows you to push uh, websites around. It's super easy to use. It's called WP Vivid, but I have a full tutorial on it. It's a free plugin that creates a backup and then allows you to migrate it to another website. It's super easy to do. And I recommend that you use that tool to give this a shot. Now, the only way that you're gonna become a true believer is if you try it out. So it's nice that you get a three day trial and I challenge you to take your slowest website and throw it at this so that you could see what I've been enjoying for the last 10 months or so. It's been such a joy using my website in the back end and taking care of things because I can click around really, really quick. And you don't even have to take my word on it. Number one, you could try it out. Number two, jump into the WP Crafter Facebook group and you can see what other people are saying about this. I mean, it's game changing. It has an overused word, but it is. It's game changing if you're a WordPress user and you're tired of the slowdowns and you don't mind throwing in a few dollars at the problem to have it be on the best hardware humanly possible for that price range. This performs just as fast as the fastest Google Cloud Compute engine platform that they sell for many times higher the cost of what you're getting here. This is truly a new thing, a new technology, a new platform, and it's going to really open your eyes to see what's actually possible for a very affordable price. And this is the exact service that I use, Vulture High Frequency, for my website. And I have a complicated website. I got Buddy Boss. I got a lot of things going on on my website in the back end flies. I can click around and do whatever really, really fast. But it's kind of hard to demonstrate that in a video. It's something that you just have to try yourself. Some things in life, you just have to invest 15 minutes or so and see if it's going to be what the person claims. And the best thing is, if you go to Cloudways, you're not paying for anything. Just get a free trial. You get it for three days. You can try it out and see for yourself. And I guarantee you will be convinced. You will be convinced. Now, what I'll do to help ease this transition is in the video description box. I'm going to create a video and upload it tomorrow, but I'll add it to the video description box. My exact Cloudways setup. So you're going to see how I register domain names, how I link the domain name to Cloudways, how I do email accounts, how I performance optimize Cloudways. And you're going to see all of that in a video tomorrow but you're going to be able to, to, to see a link to it in the video description box down below. I can't wait to hear about your experience using Vulture High Frequency. It's the best thing that I've used. It's just the one thing that I've got that actually truly delivered on what they claimed and it provided a better hosting experience. And this is better than all these other expensive monthly services that say you're going to get all these things. Vulture High Frequency actually 
delivered it. And I know if you try it out, you'll see as well. So that's it for this video. If you do sign up for Cloudways, remember, use the link down below and use the coupon code down below so you can save a little bit money if you use it beyond the free trial. That's it for this video. If you could give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.